a free and open source tool that will make your PDFs ready for RAG and general use of LLMs. This is an amazing GitHub repository that I've stumbled upon, which is called Marker. This is the repository. I will share it in the show notes or video notes, video description. Basically, um, if you guys have been in the LLM space or in the AI space, you know how important our uh, use of RAGs, which is basically retrieval augmented generation, which is basically building a knowledge base. Now, the problem is that many of our documents in, in life, in professional field, in academy, in business landscape are PDFs and PDFs are challenging for, uh, it's basically it's very challenging for the LLMs to understand the content of the PDF and the structure of the PDFs. And this, it's, it, and this is the reason why it's very uh, common to have people convert PDFs to markdown before uh, adding the markdown to the uh, as a knowledge base now there are a few solutions out there that allow this and i've heard about nougat in the past but i never used it but now i i stumble upon this repository which is called marker and it's pretty amazing let me walk you through so basically what they say is marker converts pdf to markdown quickly and accurately it supports a wide range of documents optimized for book and scientific papers. It supports all languages. I'm not sure what it means. Probably, probably all languages <laughs> and not uh, the coding languages. Uh, it removes headers, footers, and other artifacts. It knows how to format tables and code blocks. It extracts and saves images along with the markdown. It converts most equation into LaTeX and it works on GPU and CPUs or MPS, which I'm not quite sure what is that. MPS. GPU, CPU, what is MPS? Let's see. MPS stands for Metal Performance Shaders, a low level high performance API from Apple. I don't think this is correct. I have, not sure you're correct. It's in the context of GPU and CPU. Let's see. Multiprocessor service. Yeah, this makes a bit more sense. It's kind of it's kind of surprising that this was the answer that it gave me, but obviously I didn't uh, invest much in the prompt. Okay, anyway, let's move forward. So how it works, basically it's a pipeline for deep learning models. It also can use um, OCR if necessary. Um, here is a breakdown of the performance compared to a different um, project, which is called Nougat. So you can see marker is way faster and more accurate. There are a few dis um, guidelines regarding commercial use usage. Uh, if you're interested, uh, read them afterwards. Not relevant for the video. Now, with regards to limitations, so as I've mentioned before, at the beginning of the video, limitations, uh, PDF is a tricky format, so marker will not always work perfectly. Okay, this is, this is quite uh, straightforward and obvious. Some known limitations that are on the roadmap to address. Marker will not convert 100% of equations to LaTeX. This is because it has to detect and then convert. Tables are not always formatted 100% correctly, although based on my experience, it was fine. White space and indentions are not always respected. Not all line spans will be joined properly. And this works best on digital PDFs that won't require a lot of OCR. It's optimized for speed, uh, for speed and limited OCR is used to fix errors only. Okay, I will show you how it works in a moment. Let's see that I covered what I wanted. Yes, yes. Installation. So the installation is pretty straightforward and they mentioned it in, they mention it right here. So you can create an environment called the create, then pip install. If necessary, install PyTorch as well. You can find your relevant version that you need from here. So let's say you're using Windows, the package installer is pip, and you just change this and you copy this command. 
Um, for those of you who don't know what is PyTorch, so basically PyTorch is a powerful library for machine learning and deep learning. It's written in Python and offers a flexible platform for developing and training neural, neural networks. Um, PyTorch is popular because it's a user-friendly and dynamic, meaning you can change things on the go and see the results immediately. This makes it great for both beginners and experts in the field of AI and machine learning. It's uh, just general knowledge that I thought that you should know of. Now let's dive into the examples. So basically I downloaded two different PDFs. You can see them right here. So this was the first one. Techniques and methods of strength development by in, in the body being being space, basically there is the abstract, there is the introduction. You can see some images over here, tables, uh, an image or a chart. Simple PDF, nothing crazy. Seven pages. Now I gave it the command to run. By the way, it is available right here in the GitHub repository. So this is the, if you want to convert one single file, you just copy and paste this and you change this, the path to the file. So this is the path to the original PDF. And this is where you want the output to go. And here you can change the maximum pages and the language. You can just copy this and paste it. Obviously you need to change the path and also need to change the, the output folder. I just did like this. I came to ChatGPT. I have this command. Please change output folder to F all the time. F marker, the original PDF path is. Then I came here. copy the path and it will write the command for you. As it, it, you can do this on your own, but I'm just too lazy. I prefer having um, the LLM write it for me. So we came here and then we just paste it here and it takes like three minutes to create. And the results is here. So this is the first one. So as you can see here, first of all, it takes all the images from the file, from the PDF and it lists them here and gives them, gives them like numbers. And then you have the metadata of the file, which is the language, the file type, the amount of pages, if OCR was used um, and any, any other, like how many tables, how many headers and footers, etc. This is like the metadata. And you have the generated markdown, which is right here. And this is the markdown. So image, this is like the placeholder for image zero, placeholder for image one, placeholder for image two. Then this is the headline, subheadlines, the auto, and this is the content. As you can see, everything is very nicely organized in markdown. Again, use of images, more data. Now, this is the table. Look how well organized it's created the table. So. As you can see, table number one, planning of weekly workouts, days number one to, one to three and four, and this is like the day of the week. This looks pretty good. Perhaps some hiccups, let's compare it to the original PDF. So let's do like this and let's open this. I think the original, okay, let's see. Okay, so this is the original PDF. Okay, so also the, this was, as you can see, it's pretty challenging. Table number one, I don't know if I would be able to convert this better. Let's see table number two, which is a bit more structured. Let's see. Table number two. Okay, so this is table number two. Not, 
not that great in this case, but I mean, not great, not great in my opinion for the naked eye, but in Markdown it might be, might be better. But still, let's see the other, the other elements. So we come here. Techniques and methods of strengths. Development by using bodybuilders means. This is the auto name. This is the objective methods, results, conclusion. And as you can see here, where are the keywords? Keywords, bodybuilding strength method, etc. Okay, and it's I didn't do like word wrapping over here, so this is why it seems very long, but I can obviously add the word wrap. This would be a bit longer and maybe it might seem a bit more organized. But still pretty good. Let's see the other example. So this is an, an article about conversion rate optimization. You can see here the images, it extracted them. Here we have the metadata. And the article itself. Okay. AI based massively multi multivariate conversion rate optimization. Okay. So this is the abstract introduction. Background images and different content. Conclusion and references. Okay, I, I, I guess you get the gist. I don't think there is not, not too too much. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to show you like the original because it really depends on what you're looking for. But I guess, okay, maybe I should show you just for the sake of completing the video. So I don't feel as if I didn't share with you like everything and the tools. This is the original page. Let's see. Let's compare. Okay. Abstract introduction. Background. Then we have image zero, image one, as you can see right here. Okay, this is pretty amazing. I really actually I really like it. It was so fast. It was like two or three minutes. And this obviously is going to massively assist in putting this markdown as a knowledge base. So it's going to be very powerful and very useful. Um, while a lot of the tools that I'm testing seem like fluff and irrelevant, I mean, at least uh, in the last uh, few months or so, uh, in opposing to other tools that I've tested and seem like fluff and some of them I didn't even record a video about, this tool seems pretty amazing and very useful. And I highly recommend that you guys check it out if you're building knowledge bases and if you're interested in, in taking PDFs and using them as knowledge bases in your LLM, this is definitely highly recommended. Check out this amazing project, which is called Marker. If you have any questions, about the content of the video or ideas for um, more videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. And until next time, keep on automating.